controversial cell phone tower approved in the town of Nina. The board voting four to one to allow Cellcom to build the tower on the town's municipal complex off Breezewood Lane. But some neighbors are unhappy and say they're not ready to give up the fight. NBC 26's Deanna Corinthios has that story. The town board approved a lease agreement with Cellcom that would bring the town of Nina about $375,000 over the next 25 years. But some neighbors say no amount of money is worth it. They want to be bullies. Jim Schneider is upset. A 150 foot cell tower is approved, saying it'll go right in his backyard. His feelings echoed by many others in the neighborhood posting signs in protest. It just doesn't make sense. Cellcom plans to build the tower off Breezewood Lane by the town of Nina's municipal complex. But Schneider says it'll be an eyesore and fears it will affect the environment. There's deer and wildlife here all the time. That's, that cell phone tower is going to be right there at the top, above the tops of those trees. Some say they plan to boycott Cellcom at Packers games and at the Cellcom Green Bay Marathon. Cellcom says that's their right. We just move forward uh, with the construction of the site as well as our normal operations at the marathon or games or whatever the case may be. Cellcom says they did look at other sites in the area, but this one will allow for the best cell coverage. Best for our needs as well as the community needs. As neighbors prepare to fight back, Cellcom is working on getting a permit and construction should begin in the next few months. Nina's town chairman tells me the board took everyone's opinions into consideration, but it was an offer they could not refuse. Each year, the town of Nina will get $15,000 plus 15% 15 of any rent Cellcom would receive from subleasing the tower. Deandra Corinthios, NBC26.